Hello there. Here is a quick walkthrough of AutoRig HDA. First, let's create our digital asset. I pin the settings and let's dive into our car folder. Here I have prepared a car model that is already shaded and split into five parts. Body and four wheels. Let's assign correct paths to our digital asset. Next, let's dive into the curve folder where I've prepared the ground mesh and the curve which we're going to use for animation. Let's copy our curve to the animation path and animate the progress parameter from 0 to 1 in about 10 seconds. Check if this works. Sweet! The asset checking size of each wheel and then rotate it depending on the travel distance. Next, let's assign our ground mesh. Sweet. Let's add some suspension softness. There are two main parameters to control suspension. It is acceleration and slope. With these parameters, we can add some fake inertia movement. The acceleration controls how much the car going to react on acceleration or braking, and slope controls side-to-side -side rotation. It is speed-dependent, so for the low-speed animation, we can set a higher value. Let's play full animation. Looking good so far. All right, let's copy the asset. Switch off the animation and ground projection. And reassign the animation path and ground mesh from the second example I've prepared. In this case, I have a much longer spline, so I need to adjust the animation curve to keep the speed of the car more constant. Let's check how it looks. I see already that my suspension settings are too soft for this speed. Let's try to set the acceleration and slope parameters to 1. Now, let's assign the ground mesh path and set up a camera view. Each asset has a built-in camera inside which is moving after the car. In the camera folder, we can adjust the camera angle. It is really helpful in cases where the car traveling a long distance and we don't have to adjust viewport. Let's check another feature. In the drift folder, we can set on the auto drift parameter. In this case, the asset will be looking at the side slope animation, and if it passes the threshold value, the car will drift to the slope direction. Also, if the drift angle is not big enough, we can multiply it. By default, the front wheels are oriented to the velocity direction, but there is a parameter that compensates for a drift angle. Let's play full animation from a static camera. Nice, looks pretty natural.
By default, the center of drift rotation is the centroid of the front wheels. Here is the parameter that is moving this centroid toward car orientation. 3 is probably too extreme. Let's set it to 1. Now we have all wheels drifting. Let's check the third example I've prepared. Again, we need to copy the asset and switch the animation curve. In this example, I have a bit edited spiral curve. Let's stretch the animation to about 20 seconds. I see we have a little drift here, so let's switch off the auto drift and turn on the animation drift. This feature is designed to have full control of drift movement. The drift angle parameter can be animated in a range from minus 1 to 1, which defines the left or right drift direction. Also, we have options like the drift multiply parameter which is increasing or decreasing the drift angle, and the speed multiply parameter, which is multiplying a drift angle by normalized speed. The downside of this feature is not a procedural process, and we need to spend some time adjusting animation curve. Also, we can animate the suspension parameters in case we want more inertia movement at the end of the animation. The Add Noise parameter adds noise animation to the drift angle. Let's multiply the amplitude by the drift angle parameter so we don't have any noise when there is no drift movement. All right, let's have some fun. I make another copy and assign the same animation curve only rotated on 180 degrees. Also, let's assign ground mesh. Thanks for watching. Cheers.